this is Catherine reporting for Kids First, and today I'm talking with Nick Rosen and Peter Mortimer. Mr. Rosen is a partner, writer, and producer at Sender Films. Mr. Mortimer is an award-winning filmmaker and partner at Sender Films. Together, Peter and Nick directed the upcoming film, The Alphanist. Thanks so much for joining me today. So we love it. Yeah, great. great. Right on, Catherine. <laughs> All right, so Nick, let's start with you. So what first interested you and in the story about Marc-Andre Leclerc? Yeah, well, so we've been uh, in the climbing world and making films about climbing for years. And so to find someone like Mark, who is like, even among like the hardcore climbers, like most people just didn't know about this guy. He was so quiet and so uh, off the radar with the these things that he was doing that he could be that unknown, but doing these things at this incredible elite level um, as storytellers, that's just really compelling straight off the bat. Yeah, I thought it was really weird that I'd never heard of him before, yet he's done so many amazing things. I'm like, why have I never heard about him before? But now I have. <laughs> no, not few people had, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Peter, what was it like to follow Marc-Andre Leclerc on a two-year journey? Yeah, it was, um, it was both frustrating and inspiring. Um, you know, I think inspiring, just human to human, he was... I loved his purity. I loved that he didn't really care if we were there or not. And in fact, didn't, wouldn't allow us to be there in really special moments for him. It's like just, I, that's what drew us to him was that purity. On the other hand, you're filmmakers and you, you know, and it's frustrating when your, your rock star disappears for months on end. And then you read about him doing these amazing things that you would have loved to film. Um, but I learned a lot from Mark. I mean, he was half my age when we were, you know, filming and, and he just had so much wisdom and um, that I, I just, at, at some point I was just like, I'm just happy to be along for the ride and, and capture what we can. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like it would have been really frustrating too to just have him go do amazing things and then, you know, you missed it. But I feel like it would, yeah, it'd be such an inspirational journey. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So Nick, there are some astonishing shots in this film. What special equipment or gear did you have to use to get all the way up to, you know, where Marc-Andre was climbing? Yeah, well, so first of all, um, this in the environment of like a big frozen icy mountain, um, Pete and I have to work with really this very small uh, elite crew of v videographers that have the skill and the knowledge to be up on a mountain like that with Mark. So we work with the best in the business. There's a few guys um, that we work with that are, are really the best. And, um, and I think, you know, and then as far as the other angles, it all depends on the mountain and it's always different. We try to, you know, um, one of the most important things that we do is give Mark a small camera so that like, remember when he goes up on Tori Egger and he's, uh, yeah. you know, uh, talking about it and filming his bloody hands and talking to his girlfriend, Brett on the ledge at night as a storm is coming in. Um, yeah. you know, those are some of the most intimate moments. Um, and so, and then of course, you know, we're really lucky to work with, um, Red Bull Media House, which is this amazing, like uh, big production company that has, you know, the resources to give us the, what we need to do these awesome aerial shots and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I feel like it's just, it's so cool to see the process, you know, all come together. You watch the film, but also you watch from behind the scenes. And so finally, Peter, uh, what is the message you'd like audiences to take away? Um, I think there's some inspiration. I think I found Mark so inspiring. For me, it was, yeah, it was just, you know, like sort of facing the fear and like not letting, letting things hold you back, but also just the simplicity. Mark had the most uncluttered life. And yeah. he, had, he knew what he wanted to do and what he wanted to think about and how he wanted to spend his time. So mm -hmm. social media was a distraction. You know, having a job, with, like, you know, he just figured it out to just spend all of his time doing exactly what he wanted. He was with his friends. He was with Brett, who he loved so much. And he was, and, and he was climbing and doing these big objectives. It was really yeah. inspiring. I have a very cluttered life. Yeah, for sure. I feel like, you know, just get living by the simple things and doing what you love is really a great way to live. 
Well, we run out of, or we've run out of time. So thank you so much for talking with me today. Oh, thank you. We love it. It's so great. It's an honor. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for talking with me, Nick and Peter. Be sure to watch The Alpinist when it comes out in theaters September 10th, 2021. This is Catherine reporting for Kids First. Please don't forget to subscribe to Kids First and check out all of my and my team members' reviews and interviews. See you later. Bye. How was it? Scary? No, not particularly. So just another day out. <laughs> A really good day out.